from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top story. Some strong advice from Chief Medical Officer Dr. Pearl McMillan on protecting yourself and others from the ongoing spread of the coronavirus in the country. She's recommending that even if you are vaccinated, you should continue to wear a mask. And she says, although it's not been confirmed, there's a good chance the highly contagious Delta variant is now circulating in the country. Our sequencing process, because we have to send it out of the country, is delayed. We know what would have happened in the past. But based on what we're seeing, we believe that the Delta variant could be here. So let us act as if it is. The likelihood that it is circulating is, is, is high. The latest numbers are still on the high side. Another 76 confirmed cases for Tuesday, 67 of them in the capital. Cases also reported in Exuma and Ross Abaco, Grand Bahama, and Eleuthera. No rest for health care workers. There are still 109 persons in hospital being treated for the virus, among them Queens Council lawyer Wayne Monroe, who has confirmed that he does have it. 11 persons are in the ICU. No other deaths have been reported. Our total is 292, but the Pan American Health Organization is estimating that about 2 million persons may have died from the virus in the region since it started. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Latest on the Olympic Games, Steve Gardner runs in the finals of the 400 today. He's among the favorites to get a medal. Sean Ney is okay after that injury scare in the 200-meter final. She's qualified for the finals of the 400, says she's okay to run. That comes tomorrow. Coverage in the Tribune Sports. Tributes continue to come in for former Governor General Hannah, who died recently at the age of 93. Former Governor General Sir Arthur Folks among those paying tribute, saying in a statement that Hannah's life was one of devoted service. Police have confirmed that a Bahamian pilot reported as missing is being held in Venezuela for questioning after a plane that was reported as stolen by its owner crashed there. Officials are checking to determine if this is drug-related. Ron Bahama has a second traffic fatality for the week. A motorcycle rider injured several days ago in Freeport has died from his injuries in hospital. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area. Hardly cloudy. Showers are possible. Highs in the upper 80s. Maybe some low 90s. 88 at Freeport, 91 in the capital, 89 degrees at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call insurance management. This is the peak of the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to double-check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business... Nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and, of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines, while the standoff on mask mandates continues in parts of the U.S., the coronavirus continues to make a comeback. The U.S. has now hit 100,000 cases per day again, mostly unvaccinated people. Deaths are increasing there also. The world continues to struggle with controlling the spread of the virus. They're putting another lockdown in parts of Australia following an outbreak there. Weather continues to make news. Wildfires continue to burn in southern Turkey and Greece and the western U.S. and Canada, and 16 persons died from lightning strikes while attending a wedding party in Bangladesh. Tribune's cash tracker prices, Shell 513, SO 517, Rubis $5.18 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports section. All the details from Tokyo and the Olympic Games and the Tribune Sports. Best medal chances coming up. The Tribune Sports has the latest on Shawnee and Steve Gardner. 
and total coverage of all of the events at the games, including USA Basketball and who won the men's 200 on the track. Valerie Nesbitt is the latest Bahamian basketball player to find work overseas. Find out where she's headed in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.